proud moving legacy that they now rightfully claim as their own. Private First Class Bruno is a one-year-old, full-blooded English Bulldog born in Baldwin, California on October 22, 2022. He is named after Major General Bruno Hope, who at the time of his death was the first general officer. Sergeant Major James as a first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks once ago. Private First Class Bruno is being escorted by the Office of Communication Strategy and Operations, Lance Corporal Sarah Crockham. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Brad D. Guillory, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Eternal Father, some people wander all their lives if they have made a difference. These Marines do not have that problem. We are intensely proud of each of them and their noble accomplishment. We are grateful for all those who have sacrificed to bring them to this day. As they go forth for flag and country, the core in glory, and for one another, send down your blessing, O God, upon them all, that they may come through any ordeal with dignity. Semper Fidelis. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historical event in the life of a Marine. Their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego First Service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The depot is also home to recruiter school and drill instructor school. All of our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. This morning, Company E, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The commander of troops is Captain Aiden J. Lang, Company Commander, Company E, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is Captain Ryan Y. King, Company Commander, Company F, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. units are now being called to attention and the adjutant's command 
Sound Adjutant's Call will begin today's parade. distinguishes them as Marines. Example of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. A spree de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with skilled resolve. The drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper vitalis, to core, country, and each other that abound throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat or deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready. To defend freedom anytime and anywhere. To stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters. To pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy. And to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company E, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton, as well as on this parade deck, and have been trained as our all Marines as basic riflemen.
platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors? Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command.
following the command. Parade rest. The parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The parade has its end. Now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to poor and country. Thank you. Please be seated. We would also like to give special recognition to the Gold Star family members present in the audience today. During World War I, families would hang a blue star in their windows to symbolize that their loved one was serving in the military. Should the service member not be able to return home, the blue star was replaced with a gold star. Today, the gold star symbolized the family members of those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a very special round of applause to the family members of the servicemen and women who proudly defended our great country. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General James A. Ryan, the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region, as well as on behalf of Colonel Peter M. Rumler, the Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the graduation of Company E. To start, I'd like to recognize today's parade reviewing official Captain Aaron Carlton, United States Navy, whose impressive biography you will hear shortly, and who today detaches from the Recruit Training Regiment after 18 months as our regimental chaplain. Sir, it's an honor to have you and Lily here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to the Marines and the sailors of this unit. Your leadership and your spirit will be missed. Good luck with your next command, sir. I'd like to acknowledge some uh, special guests of the Commanding General, members of the Marine Corps Community Services team that is here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for all that you do for Marines uh, here in Southern California and, and around the world. Detroit. Thank you very much for all of your service to the board. It's my distinct pleasure to speak to you this morning for just a few moments to express both the pride and the gratitude which I feel for this formation behind me. And that begins with you, the friends and families of these new Marines. Thank you for trusting us with your loved one. Thank you for your love and support on their journey to this day, and thank you for your continued support in their new vocation. From all of us, welcome to the Marine Corps family. And, and speaking of families, seated to the right of the reviewing stand are the families of the Company E staff. And no one knows more than you the time and dedication that it takes to transform a civilian into a United States Marine. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly grateful for your sacrifice and your support, which enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Would you join me in a round of applause for the families of the Empire? You know, Navy Marines is truly a team effort, and at the forefront of that effort are Marine recruiters stationed across this great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines. This legion of recruiters are represented today by Staff Sergeant Stakowski from Recruiting Station, Phoenix, Arizona, who's responsible for guiding the company honor graduate, Lance Corporal Horney, into our corps. And for any of you 17 to 28 year olds out here, inspired by what you see, my honor recruiter has assured me he'll speak to you immediately following graduation. Our other partner in the endeavor to make Marines are the instructors of Weapons Field Training Battalion who teach the critical combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climbing place. They're represented today by Corporal Asivas, the top performing instructor for the rifle range. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. Well done, Marines.
The last group I'd like to recognize certainly needs no introduction. Everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. And from the moment a recruiter arrives on the depot, there is a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of the United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. Trust me, your Marine will never forget the name, the face, or the sweet, tender, gentle, loving voice of their drill instructor. Would you join me in a round of applause for the Marines who make Marines, the drill instructors! And these Marines behind me are, on average, 20-year-old high school graduates. Four have college degrees. And they come to us from every state and territory in the Western recruiting region and 13 countries around the world, having immigrated from places like Burma, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and the Philippines. And when they raise their right hand to be sworn of, support, and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. Upon arrival here, these drill instructors forged them fires, martial discipline, shaping their minds and bodies in the mold of generations of Marines who have worn our cloth. These new Marines proved themselves worthy, capable, carrying heavy loads, long distances, over rugged, mountainous terrain, to be where they're needed, when they're needed, to accomplish any mission. Now you may notice some change in your Marine. They'll stand a little taller, look a little leaner, sport an outstanding Marine Corps hairstyle, and moms and dads, I guarantee, they know how to make their beds. But the truly important change is the one which has taken place within. For they have been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And by virtue of standing here today, they have embraced them as their own. And it is because of this, because of the journey they have undergone, and because of the moral, mental, and physical development they have displayed, that I am pleased to present 341 young men and women who can forever proudly claim the title of United States Marine. If you excuse me for just a moment, I'd like to address the newest members of our Corps. Good morning, Marines. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly proud of you. We watched you learn, strive, and grow these past months, and we are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. You can be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished here. You earned your tan belt in our martial arts program. Some of you learned to swim in water survival training, and many overcame a fear of heights and our confidence in obstacle course. We learned weapons employment to deliver precision fires on targets from a staggering distance of 500 yards. And in a final test, you completed the grueling crucible, where you were required to demonstrate exemplary character, physical and mental toughness, the ability to decide, act, and communicate, leadership, and a warfighter spirit. And every Marine, past and present, expects you to display those same attributes in your future trials. And so having completed the most rigorous recruit training on this globe, you are ready to carry on our tradition as America's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. As you go forward on the next leg of your journey, I implore you, be safe, be smart, and make good decisions. Remember that Eagle Globe and Anchor pressed into the palm of your hand atop the Reaper represents 248 years of Marines who have come before you. You must always be worthy of that legacy and protect what you've earned. So on behalf of the Marines, sailors, and civilians here aboard the Recruit Depot, let me offer you a traditional naval parting of fair winds and following seas. Congratulations, Marines. Semper Fidelis, welcome to the Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Captain Aaron C. Carlton, Chaplain, Rug Crew Training Regiment, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego. He is accompanied by Colonel Peter M. Rumbler, Commanding Officer, Rug Group Training Regiment, Marine Corps Group Depot, San Diego.
Captain Carlton was commissioned as a Navy chaplain in 2004 and attended Naval Chaplaincy School and Center in Newport, Rhode Island. He has served in a variety of challenging assignments to include Naval Forces Central Command and 5th Fleet, 12th Marine Corps District, Macon Island ARG and 11th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Marine Corps Base Camp Butler, Office of Chief and Navy Chaplains, 1st Marine Expeditionary Force Headquarters Group, and Marine Aircraft Group 16. He has deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Inherent Resolve, and Operation Allies Refuge. Today, Captain Carlton completes his assignment as the Regimental Chaplain, Recruit Training Regiment, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, and will be assigned as the Force Chaplain for United States Marine Corps Forces Reserve and United States Marine Corps Forces South in New Orleans, Louisiana. His personal awards include the Meritorious Service Medal with one gold star, the Navy and Marine Corps Accommodation Medal with two gold stars, and the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal with two stars. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Captain Aaron C. Carlton. review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge. Thank you. 
Now, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Aiden J. Lang. The company first sergeant is Gunnery Sergeant Kyle R. Wilton. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company E. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidelines. Turn to the drill instructors. will not be presented a black by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith, and the battalion sergeant major, First Sergeant Joey Cruz. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. Present! Hop! The honor graduate for Platoon 2109 is Private First Class Jacob Madison from Spookan Valley, Washington. The honor graduate for Platoon 2110 and the city's honor graduate is Private First Class Madison R. Morrissey from Indianapolis, Indiana. The honor graduate for Platoon 2111 is Private First Class Graydon B. Trump from Iron River, Wisconsin. The honor graduate. 
Director of the Platoon 2113 is Private First Class Larson C. Thomas from Baltimore, Maryland. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 2114 and the Company Honor Graduate is Lance Corporal Micah D. Horney from Phoenix, Arizona. Lance Wilbur Horney is also the recipient of the Chesty Pool Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. And the honor graduate for Platoon 2115 is Private First Class Carlos A. Orzoco from Hempstead, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company E. First Sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Please look around and do not leave any trash or personal 